listen I don't boast to know everything but I've seen great people fall like a pack of cards at the instance of the error of the prophetic I have seen people fall like a pack of cards not not error from what was told them error by themselves did the Bible not even teach you that your own heart can deceive you is it not in the Bible you don't need any wrong prophet or wrong apostle your own heart by yourself unassisted by any external the heart of man by default unassisted outside of the mercy of God is wicked and deceitful above all things so your heart can tell you God said and later on when you grow you will find out God did not really say it was the hearing that your level taught but that which is written stands sure. Please listen. When Solomon received the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the first test, watch this, was two prostitutes who came to him. Is that true? The Bible says there was a court case that stood before Solomon. One of it was that they slept and one slept and killed her child and quietly exchanged it. Is that true? that is deception now because both of them were sleeping sleep is something that is common to all men and while they slept someone exchanged it and they got up and this one said it is my child this one said it is my child now solomon was going to show the supremacy of the wisdom of god he would have said i am wise i know this will happen and just guess his way into error but watch this the moment Solomon saw that situation, he knew that the only way to discern the thoughts and the intent was to bring the sword, which is the word of God. He said, bring me a sword. The moment the knife arrived, the truth came out. Immediately. That, that word that is sharper than two-edged sword, the Bible said it sustains the power to cut asunder. Even doctors cannot do any surgical procedure beyond the human flesh. But the word of God can move past the realm of the flesh and discern people. The times we are living in are the times where a kiss that should be a sign of love can be a symbol to the enemy. This is the one, destroy him. You will need discernment beyond the realm of the senses. Judas comes to Jesus and kisses him. If you were to watch that scenario, you will go back and say, Judas, what a loving disciple and yet that was a sign to the enemy this is the one who should die satan came the first time directly to jesus and jesus said it is written three times and he left for a season one of the synoptic accounts will say are we still together the next time he would come he did not come directly again he did not use evil he came through the compassion of a loving disciple i hope you know that satan can use what is good and fight you good and evil came from the same tree so it is within his liberty to use both evil and if he finds out that you are one who runs away from evil he will not use evil he will not use a lady to destroy you no he will not use liquor to destroy you he will use church he will use brethren watch this now so satan enters peter and Peter does not even know that at that point he's under the influence of Satan. Hear what Satan says through Peter, paraphrasing Jesus, don't die. You can't go to the cross. We love you too much. Say compassion. And Jesus looked at him like Paul looked at the damn cell in Acts 16 and says, What you are saying is right, but the influence behind it, uh -uh. it is written that he must die because without the shedding of blood so the spirit of christ will not negate the word what spirit is this that is speaking so nicely and yet against that which is written many nice sermons will kill in the end time because they are nice but they are inconsistent with what is written please sit down so jesus looks at peter Peter was sincere he was not evil and Jesus looks at him and says get thee behind me Satan and Peter can imagine Peter saying what insult is this 
and he laughed he said peter one day you will grow and you will understand what happened satan has desired to sift you like wheat he says but i have prayed for you we're getting there shortly i have now given you a strategy that the moment you see deception rising in any territory i have given you the weapon to maintain your balance i have prayed for you that your faith fail not it says when you are converted use this same strategy anywhere you see deception in a territory teach them to pray because that in the place of prayer they will gain stability the next time satan would come he entered judas and unfortunately because the heart of judas was already i hope you know judas was not an evil man judas was a selfish man he did not intend to kill jesus he intended to make money out of jesus so that he would leave jesus to deal with them and say i i i fulfill my own part of the business i promise that i'll bring you face to face with him whatever happened between him and you is none of my business give me my money that was why when Jesus gave himself, he killed himself. He didn't plan for it to go that far. Be careful what you do with Jesus. You can love him. You can use him for money. You can use him for fame. You can use him wanting to sit at the right and the left side. Not because you love him, but you are using him to show that what you left was not failure. After all, they did many things with Jesus. That is a sermon for another day.